To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, hover over new, click drawing, and select Akadiso 3D for metric units. And work on parallel projection. But before you begin, Make sure your setting matches with mine and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap. I'm just going to draw this portion here. So bring your drawing to front view. Draw a line, so type L for line command, enter, click anywhere on the screen, bring down your cursor, 430.2, which is from this point to this point. Line, from this in point to your right, 413.1. And bring it downward for 1.6. And move to your right for 94.85 and downward for 50.8 and to your left for 73 which is this one here from this point to this point 73.05 and start another line from this endpoint to your right for 1.6 and bring your cursor up slanted slightly towards the right and press the tab key and enter 37.5 I'm gonna draw a line from this point to this point as guide for 8.06, so L for line, and from this endpoint here, and to your right for 8.06, and bring your cursor upward for 21.1. Now draw a line, and click the endpoint, and Click this in point, type TR for trim command, enter twice, click this line, and click that line, delete that. Now I'm going to join the broken segments, so type J for join command, and select the objects. Now it's one object. And our axis of revolution is this one, and the distance from that, from this point up to this point, is 152.4. So I'm going to draw a line from this end point for 152.4 and bring it down up to that point. I'm just going to erase that. And go back to the ribbon click this drop down arrow and select revolve click this object enter and specify axis start point which is this one and click this end point and enter 360 degrees I'm just gonna turn off the grid I'm gonna uh, bring my drawing to top view I'm just going to change this to, to the wireframe. And I'm going to draw a line, half of 450.8. So I'm 
which is 225.4. So line from center, enter 225.4. And draw a circle with a diameter of 31.7. So type C for circle command. Click this endpoint, a center. Type D for diameter option and enter 31.7. Now extrude the circle. Click this drop down arrow and select extrude extrude downward and bring it back to top view and type array array polar select that cylinder and specify center point of array and click um, center and go back to the ribbon and change the number of items to 16 and enter. I'm gonna change this to shaded with edges. Now explode these um, arrayed objects. So type X for explode command. And go back to the ribbon, select subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select these uh, cylinders. And enter. Now we're done, but I'm just gonna bring this to front view, copy this object, go back to the ribbon and under solid editing panel, uh, select slice, and from the center up to here and select this side. Now type materials and I'm gonna use glazed uh, fabric. Press the control key on your keyboard and drag this one, uh, hit that face another one press the control key while on it, left click, just hold on and drag and click that face. There you go. I'm just gonna show you the, just for visualization, this hatch portion is this one. I think we're done. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. And uh, if you want the detailed uh, dimensions, uh, please uh, check the link below to my website and I'm gonna post this um, dimension soon. Thank you so much and see you again.